Goedemiddag, ik ben ik heb het meer van die mond. Ik ben erg benieuwd waar de mensen vandaan kwamen die onze voorouders geweest zijn. Wat ze allemaal hebben meegemaakt, in welke omstandigheden ze geleefd hebben. Ik heb er zoveel van gelezen. Op school geschiedenislessen gehad, uh, worden de slaven van uh, de westkust van Afrika in Suriname gebracht werden. Maar uh, ik wil het ook zelf ervaren, zelf beleven. Ja. Ik ben hier in Nederland gekomen om mijn steentje bij te dragen om het land te helpen opbouwen. Ja, kinderen les te geven, want ik ben dus uh, leraar. Hoe is, dat, hoe is dat ontstaan eigenlijk? Hè? Dat uh, men ons zo ver heeft kunnen krijgen dat broeders en elkaar verkocht hebben. Nou oké, okay, kijk, mijn voorouders die hebben dus geleden. Maar Kitty no Korti, het, ja, het blijft gewoon door. Want die slavernij die is in, in de feite de geesten niet afgeschaft. Ja, het ja, is uh, wel spannend. Ik weet niet wat er te wachten staat. Maar ik probeer gewoon erop. Ik wil het nog vragen. Ook gedaan. That's the remains of the first president of Ghana, as the Sajifu Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. He ended the colonial rule in Ghana. Yeah. And he gave us independence, and then he did a lot for Ghana. In fact, Nkrumah had a vision mm -hmm. to unite the whole of Africa. Mm -hmm. So he believed that until Africa is united, yeah, mm -hmm. we can't move as we have to move. So that was his vision. Mm -hmm. In our country, mm -hmm. when you talk about the, the chief, the powerful man, especially the Ashanti okay. king, okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. even people think that his power is even greater than that of the president. Because the king, the king is powerful, it's impossible, mm -hmm. it's almost impossible for us to meet the king to talk about the topic mm -hmm. of slavery. Mm -hmm. But I hope we will meet the next person after him. Mm -hmm. who is the key mm -hmm. to everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's the okay. one that you'll be seeing, hopefully. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. And then that is where the slavery starts from. But the place we are now, is this the place where uh, the slaves that came out? Yeah, the, uh, um, and what, what is this? What is see, this? This is, a, this is a, a lake, an artificial lake. The slaves walk from Salaga, where we are going, mm -hmm. across mm -hmm. the land, which is now the lake, yeah, yeah, towards the south. And that is 
about 500 kilometers. Just walk, change the thing. Yeah. No food. Uh, so by the time. The slave activity is great when all these places uh, is sold. I also understand my great grandfather was mm -hmm. sold too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Though he was um according to the story he was a wealthy man, he was strong. I mean he was a very strong man. He was sold too. That's cool. Uh huh. That's like. What? Yeah, like that. Mm -hmm. We got some something like a yeah. short name also we call Tung Tung. How does it taste? Mmm, tastes good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. good. Mmm. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. They they use obey also. Yeah. Oh, obey. Okay. I don't know. Oh, that's oh, obey. Okay, 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 okay. Obey, 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 obey. We call it obey in Sri Lanka. Oh, very good, very good. This is the Baba tree. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Where our fathers were chained. When they bring you here, you start next. They come from Ashanti region. On foot. They don't come with money. They tell you, I drama is telling you today. They come with cola. Cola and cowling. A hundred or fifty uh, pieces of cola. You can buy one person. That is the matter. People come from Nigeria on foot. She's one of the oldest. Okay. Uh -huh. She doesn't know her age. Mm. I told you, millet and guinea corn. This was what our people will ground in a, in a form of flour. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Hundred, hundred, hundred uh, pieces of cola can buy one person. But just now about her ancestors, yeah, ancestors. Her father, mother. Yeah. Yeah. They were slaves. Mm. And they were, father. Were, they, they were slaves for the father. For the father. Okay. Also, in other words, the father too had some slaves. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, now the father, when the father had uh, those leaves, really this thing he bought it because a difficult one. He was really trying to prove difficulty, arrogant. Mm -hmm. When there is instruction to do work, he doesn't want to do. Then we use this to change the fellow. Mm -hmm. But when the father died, all the people went away. Some went to Nigeria, some went to Ouagadougou, yeah. and now all of them this time he cannot find anybody. They are all gone.
historia kutia au kutia na nama ya mieli ni amanya jema ba no no view to surinam ya nika katalela da ise sira to kure kodo 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 te wenya ba juju ya ayo motenya pa ayo wala te wajira magwe in a war between the two factions okay if i may ask those who saw the the brother yeah were they uh, were they also family members or they were outsiders they are there? in the same area no family not family you see you man kaku yo ve ru futa darina reaching adina on the coast kashima ngo ngo nyogo ngo au ngo bia nye ngo le chaka wo kwaju au yes amaga nya re ken jiba from amajiko for kiko is my uncle okay so this your uncle yes Okay. He was uh, telling the story about uh, uh, Tanu and his abduction to slavery. There is a song which uh, always recalls that story. Can you sing it uh, for me? Okay, we we'll ask him to sing. Yes. Okay. When I did have a blind man. No blind man. Tanu was don't blind man. Don't blind man. Also was don't blind man. Ashima tanwa yimo ko. Ashima ke yokagba yimo. 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 Come from Holland. From Holland. And how many bottles for one slice? Well, it depends on the time. Ik ben benieuwd naar het dorpje Koromanti, waar veel van onze voorouders weggehaald zijn. Daarom moeten wij Stephen Corsa, die er geboren en getogen is. This is Comanche, and I'm now taking you to see my family. The settlement actually started from the top of the hill, and later they all moved down here. So the real family house is at the top of the hill. But this is where my grandmother settled, and that is my auntie. Okay. She comes after my mother, and uh, she is the only one left as of now, you know, of the mother level. Mm -hmm. The rest are all children, grandchildren, and the like. And that is the daughter of my auntie. And uh, as usual, they're all fishmongers, and the male are fishermen. Right. And uh, this was built my, by my grandmother. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, she's dead. Uh, and about two years ago, she died. And uh, my senior auntie took over. She also died just about six months ago. Yes. It's stolen? Right. No, this is mud. Mud house. Okay. Yes. If you, if you say, look up there, you see that there's a settlement up there on the hill. That's the old township of Comanche. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was actually started by a hunter called Nana Comher. So one day, he went out. And for example, him, he killed an elephant. Mm -hmm. So he followed this elephant all the way from where he killed the elephant 
to the top of this hill where the elephant was found dead by him. Mm -hmm. So he stayed there, built a hut, and started his settlement there. So his people thought he might have been killed by an animal. Mm -hmm. So they sent uh, a search party with drums. Mm -hmm. The moment they got near to this hill, they saw black stains on leaves. So they followed the stains, so they got to where the elephant was lying, and there they found him. So like reprimanding him, they remarked, so after all that we told you, and when you go come back home, you just decided to go your own way. And in the local language, it is Komel, Anti Dayaka Chonina. So that remark they made, like Komel Anta, became the name of the village Komati. We go along this way. Uh, where we drove, you know, as our Fort Amsterdam. It was the English who came here first. Mm -hmm. And uh, with the consent of the natives, they built a fort at where it is. And later it was seized by the Dutch. They named it Fort Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. So people were carried away from this Fort Amsterdam, especially to the Caribbean island. You know, in my country, in Suriname, when they're talking and people are in spirit, you know, they start speaking Cromanti. There's the highest spirit in there. That's what they say. So, you, you, you know about Suriname? Yes, I know yeah. about Suriname, at least something about Suriname. Yeah, something about small. Minty, minty. Minty. Not to that extent. Uh -huh. So, we have more information on European countries than about our own brothers and sisters who are the diaspora. And this is about time, perhaps, is we have to start linking up. So we know whatever happened there. Then we add it to whatever happened here. We also give you whatever happened here. So we also add it to whatever happened there. So it becomes one whole complete. Okay, okay. So it's not half, half. It has to be one. But you never been there? Then. No. Okay. No. Maybe someday, sometime. Okay. Who knows? You never know. <laughs> Okay. Now, that is the Roman Catholic Church in Tomansi. Yes, and uh, this is about the oldest of the Christian churches in this uh, village. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is also one of them. I think there's the Assemblies of God. Also, the Pentecost down there. Uh -huh. And according to we have the 12 Apostles. So, we've got a few Christian churches here. <laughs> Asimans was like a terminal point for the northern route and the beginning of the southern route to the coast. So the people in here at Asimans were like murdermen. They had enough space, they had sheds, where, which were used as markets, temporary markets. So people from the coast who were looking for slaves to buy would just come and wait here so that those who bring them from the north would also bring them here. But there was one important facility here, which makes a same also a unique place. That is, there is a slave train called Ndon Konsio. So the idea was that they are preparing you well, packaging you well for auction. Because it was here that those who had grey hair were shaped. So it was also here that they polish their skin with palm oil. So it looked very fresh and attractive before they actually go and sell it. Yeah. So from here, you are moving to the castle. Okay. And you enter the dungeon, no bad for you. Mm -hmm. So this is a street.
Kalau kami sih apa sih saya harus menang menjawab saya. Di tulisan was ina skripsi atau was tulis. They were divided into two, male one side, female on the other side. Just a discouraged pregnancy and childbirth amongst them. Mm -hmm. So all of the grand floor rooms we have here were male slave dungeons. And the female were added. The Dutch took them through the branding process with that red hot metal stamp. Mm -hmm. Then from there, the female were taken straight to the dungeons we have here. And a dandy like what you have there held not less than 200 women. Not less than 200 women sitting in this dandy. Yes. So it means there was no, no space for one to lie in the first place. But if you want to sleep, just stand and sleep. And if there is space for you to lie, then I don't know whether you lie on that floor. Because the floor is almost always wet. Yeah, yes, it was all the time. And you go out in the courtyard occasionally for exercise, or that the governor or any big man up there should let some of them sit for their beds. So you have the balcony up there as a platform for you to do the selection. The governor, for example, will be there, and the women are assembled here. Mm -hmm. Then from there, you just pick and choose. The selected one will come straight from the fourth year to this very before, then continue this way up. The only thing she had to do was go through this other door and straight up into the darkness of the rest of it. And this was the same way down for her. Because from there she had to go back to the dungeon. The way up, the way down. After the after the Yes. You go back to the dungeon, back to misery. So this was the Protestant Dutch Reformed Church. And currently underneath, we have one of the female dungeons. So we have Heaven at the top and hell at the bottom. And this was once used by Jacobus Capitain, also as, as, as a church. Yes. The Dutch church? Dutch, yes. Psalm 132, verse 14. Zion is the Zieren Rüste. It is a woon place in Eeuwigheid. Psalm 132, verse 14. Of the Dutch church. Yes, the Reformed Church. Dutch Reformed Church. And you are even in this church, it's possible for you to see the ship out there and it's still getting on board. The beach was in those times part of the sea. So the whole place was washed. So both male and female had to go through this very door. 
to the next room before they leave for the book. And for all of them, that was the way out, the very final exit, the door of no return. They step out from here of the book to begin the middle passage, the journey across the Atlantic. We are now in the Cape Coast Castle. The Elmina Castle was not built for slaves initially, but this one was built for slaves. So the dungeons were actually dungeons in the real sense of a dungeon. This is one of the cubicles. This held 200 slaves. But because there were too much more people in here than the room could accommodate, movement was hampered. So they had to be easy themselves wherever they were. And I bet you, with time, freezes and other wastes rising up from this floor up to about this level, and you can imagine. This is how this looks like. To escape physically from this castle wasn't possible. There is an attendant here, so I will just ask him just to do a shot prayer for us, and we all see how we go about it. Okay. Yeah, but he bought that version with palm wine. Oh, yes.
are here for just a very simple promotion. This friend of mine is a Slenamin. And when I say Slenamin, they are people who were sold out in slavery. And uh, he got up one day and then wanted to know his roots. And all, all the countries he chose to come to Ghana. So that is, here is where he believes he comes from. What I can see is that he has some pain in him, and that pain has to be worked on. So I think hearing something from the chief will ease the pain. That is why we're here. As I want to treat, as I'm fruit, I'm welcome. I'm so much free, so now. Me, I'm a two-way. So be something in it. Nigga, something in it. Man, something very just in it. As he says here, he controls the, the jersey of the Ashanti division. He holds the golden key to the Ashanti kingdom. Every time we see key like this in the Ashanti culture, it represents Nana Samai. You can see from the ring it's wearing. This is our Dumaba. Dumaba P. Welcome to you. Well, then on behalf of Nana, this is what I'm saying, but I, I, I discussed just some few points with him, and it was in the hearing, so I want to explain things to you. Uh, Asante and people who went to Suriname. In fact, Asante became a nation around 1695, when the individual states of Asante came together to fight their overlord residential, uh, residential nation. And after conquering them, we captured the notes to the Elmina Castle. And you see, Elmina Castle belonged to the Dutch. So we became the friends of the Dutch people. And uh, they needed some soldiers. So between 1832 and 1844, we sent 2,343 people. They recruited 2,343 people to fight in Java. And from Java, they came to Suriname to see. Not really, we were not selling them, but we wanted them to go and train. But we, we were given some money, and so it was a nice thing to us. That was another story I, I, I heard about it, you know. I, so I heard that. They were not telling you. They we are told us that they, they bring us to Suriname as slaves, you know, and that brothers, black brothers, sold black brothers to the white. If there was a story, a bad thing over there, we never knew here. But we had good gesture, and maybe that tend to be something bad over there. But to us here, that was the main thing. That's why I'm giving you some certificates of people who went to Can I ask a question, sir? Yes. It hurts us very much. It hurts us very much. Since we know by history that we were enslaved, we were proud people, we were enslaved, we went to Elmina. We saw the places where they were changed. We saw how they tortured us. We saw how they brought us with slave ships. We saw this all. And it's just it's, it's painful because you don't talk with full respect. You refuse to tell us this thing you want to know. Why people sold it? Uh, yes. The, 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 the chief want people to know were why also... brothers sold brothers. We know it's yeah. true. We saw the tortures. Yeah, brother, give you a little insight about the slavery. Actually, it went on. No, at first, this uh, modern-day Ghana was in Mali. It was called the Old Ghana Empire. There, uh, there were two slave traders. They were called Samori and Babelto. Those people were, they, they were Arabs. They were trading in slavery. So, they, they, they would come to the, uh, a village, then read the a tablet, then send the, the, the people to Libya, then sold them as slaves. So this forced our grandfathers to move down west to the coast here. Those slave traders, they chased us here. They brought Baba wars. They would go to a certain village, wage wars against each other. So our, uh, uh, our brothers and sisters were captured, then sold to those uh, traders. So our brothers and sisters, they, they, they were tortured. They were put in chains, shackles. In fact, it, it, it's very, very painful. Nana, Nana is prepared to give you land to come and stay with us. So, without uh, going much 
uh, let's put an empty table. But I wanted to show you what happened to her. O fami canta mi vida la pendici Ca me ori mi Saca co na salaga Eren ser te na fumi Sondro le specchi e ben prati ben Vigi famigli Sati gimi te Cattivo ye ye Dori mi Cattivo ye ye Mechi mi te O fami cantami Vila la pendisi Sane ori mi Por tu almira, mi tata me embrejó, me tu apresí, cupida te, adoro, tu no comoro, charmi le cleti, con atrasoro. You know about Suriname? Yes, I know about Suriname, at least something about Suriname. Have you never been there? No. No, maybe someday sometime. No, 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 Yeah, that's that. That's manya. Manya. Look, 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 all of us are now more than 100 years here, so we learn to live with each other. And sometimes there are constraints, but that's most political, you see. Uh, because in the beginning of the 20th century, they started to form political parties. And those political parties were formed on ethnic base. That's caused the problem. But uh, if you look at the people, how they live together, how they deal with the problems today, it is very peaceful. Not for Africans to have made no, 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 no. In the backyard, it was possible for for the small houses for slaves and after the emancipation, the other people. But in the front, it was always the rich and most of the time white people. In this area, it were the Jewish people. Oh, because it, yes, because it is nearby the synagogue. Now, what yes. was their role here? They were the first who started the plantations in the south of the Suriname River. But you see, when we're talking about slave trade, slavery, slavery in Africa, no one dares mention the Jews. Oh, yeah, they were very important. This is the Suriname River. In the north, you have the Atlantic Ocean, and from there, the slave ships came in. So it's here where their lives begin. Okay. Because from here, they bring them to the marketplace, and there they got put to sell. Well, a huge house where the wives were living, and standing on the steps, the selling of the slaves took place. And in the surrounding, there were the buyers. So they let the slaves come up, and then they start to examine them, man or woman, and say, well, you are this, and you are that, you are ugly, you're not good enough, uh, your nose is too big, you're not strong enough. 
imagine that since then the slaves started to believe that they are nothing they are ugly that their noses are too big that their hair is not good and so yeah. on Check lips. yes because it's what they hear all the time this is the surrounding where the rich people were living for example the, the building over there the owner was one of the richest people it was a woman madame Titan de Plessy and she's known in history for her cruelty and one of the stories is that uh, because of her jealousy she cut the breast of one of the slaves and put it on a plate for her husband because her husband was looking too much to the beautiful slave women on the feast they had they hang slaves on the ribs and they enjoy the panorama one of the things is that they want to show black people that whites are really dominant and strong and they have everything and are the best you know so they needed some way to show that and one of the ways was to punish they wanted to be feared huh? that's true I gotta take it to my family. Good. My uncle, my aunt. Mm. Old one? Yeah. Very, very old? Very old, very old. Okay, then they have a lot of pictures with young and their mind. It is the old one. Aha. My father. Oh, my Yes. Ah. Yeah. 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 Over Yeah. 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 Ja, yeah, de flinkste raakte Ja, de grootvader. Ja. Yeah. Waar kwam hij vandaan dan? Kom maar weer naar Kom maar weer In Jacobo. En hij is dus ook slaaf geweest. En hij is? Hij is op straf, ja, hij is in zijn afzijn. Dat is ook niet goed. Ik ben een duur ding, ja. Je bent een flinkste raakte Ik ben een duur die slaap ineens 1863 afgeschaft. Ja, ja, 1863. Dat is hier beslapen. Hij heeft ook meegemaakt, toch? Ja, ja. Hij heeft het meegemaakt. Hij heeft het meegemaakt, ja. Ze waren... ...en die mensen overgeleverd. Ja, bij de Louis Papa heb je een plantage. Ze bleven niet. Ja, ja. Want dat is het hart. Het leven is het hart. Ja. Gewoon dikke. Mm. Ze ging weg helemaal. Het was geen. Mijn grote moeder was een, 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 een dapper zwarte vrouw. Hoe heet het hè? Hm? Hoe heet het hè? Magdalena. Oh. En ze is in de stad komen wonen. Ja. Maar toen ze hier kwam, ze is ze toen weer haar kind ook een andere opvoeding gegeven dan Kantage. Wat ze daar op plantage hadden. Mm-hmm. Echt, mijn vader heeft het. Kijk, het werd je geleerd. Als meisje. Nou, bij ons was dat niet zo, want we hadden een heel andere setting. Uh, als je kroeshaar hebt, dan is dat niet goed. Toch? Dan heb je lelijk haar. Dan heb je oloisfeer en dan moet je als meisje in een oppe kleur. Dat? Nou, je moet een man zoeken met uh, glad haar, een lichtere huid. Dan was je goed, want al het andere is maar niks. 
zwart werd echt bestempeld als iets lelijks, iets vies, iets ongepast. Dus uh, ik ben er bewust mee bezig hoor, om zwarte vrouwen in ieder geval te laten weten van je hebt waarde, je bent een mens. Ja, een man kan niet over je lopen. Je hebt ook in Jumo gewerkt, hè? had je dat, dat, dat probleem daar ook met de mensen? Nee, het waren trotse mensen. Mm-hmm. Heel trots op hun, op, hun, op hun vrijheid en op hun... Hun, hun leven daar, af en toe scholden ze wel op de stad, omdat ze zich een beetje afhankelijk van de stad willen. Maar het waren trotse mensen. Echt heel trots hoor. Ze heeft weer niet gestopt. Ze zijn weggegaan. Wij, wij zijn in de Katibo hier in Paramaribo. Wij zijn in de Katibo gebleven. Over daar, daar is de zee. En van daar, The boat came in. We can say that they brought about 100 up to 200 slaves. But in the whole 300 years, what we catch here is about quarter million. 260,000. It's a lot. But at the end of slavery, when they call for emancipation in uh, uh, 1863, 30 6,000 left. Yes. But on the whole, mm-hmm. we have much less than 60 million Africans mm-hmm. being enslaved. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, with only 12 million mm-hmm. successfully crossing the Atlantic. Now we are turning, going in the Komowain River. And on the Komowain River, there you have the plantation. We are about not two hours now on boat with the motor. Uh-huh. By that time, maybe five, six hours rowing. Yes. And uh, then they arrive. And when they arrive, then the work starts. We will go to Al Yang, which is a former sugar plantation. Yeah. Now, in the front, you can see the manager's house. It is a little bit in a bad shape, but imagine what it was during the time of slavery and after that. And here's the place where he. Uh, with his family. Nowadays they uh, grow citrus, but in those days it was sugar cane. So they love sugar and rum, huh? Mm. Uh, well, in yeah. Europe for sure. Yes. And if you trade it, yes. and with that money they make huge houses in Europe. But it was the slaves who were to true. produce the sugar and rum. That's true, I agree with you. They had to work 24 hours a day. For example, when it was harvest time. So there was no need to sleep in a house, just to rest a little bit. And uh, in such houses like this? Uh, like this. It was used for the slaves, yes. A lot of them. In a row, in huh? In a row, yes. A lot of them. With one entrance. So they work, work, work. It was only work and die. This is Cameron Hickory. I think it is more than 200 years old. The tree was used also to bind up slaves on it Uh-oh. and then punish them. Uh-oh. So we see that there was a lot of hard work, hard labor on the plantation. Mistreating, torture, frustration. And uh, then you can uh, understand that on a certain point, there's no return. That they say enough is enough. And it is. We have to flee. That's true. We will leave the plantation and look for the freedom. Go to the interior and live there like free men. Far, far away. And then they came back to protect the plantation, to put the factories on fire, to take the women with them and to look for weapons and so on. 
We are now in Chori. Uh, it's about 200 kilometers from Paramaribo. The people of Paramaribo were warriors. The blood was in their fighting. On the boat they were fighting. On the beach they were fighting. For the women, they wouldn't allow them, themselves to be raped. They better commit suicide. But just travel over. And you know, when they came here too, they were fighting. So they carried this across. The rules, they use the knowledge of the Amer Indians very well to adapt the situation. The Amer Indians know how to walk in the interior, how to use the, the plants and, and so on. So they get they got friends and they formed a front against the oppressors. When the emancipation came in 1863, they left the farthest way in the jungle to come and live nearby the river. So what you can see that at this moment we have a lot of maroon villages along, for example, the Suriname River. So, we uh, are on that other side. Other side? Uh, yeah, this, uh, this is a maroon, small maroon village where you can meet the real Kromanti people of the river. The Kromanti maroon. Yeah, what's going on? Okay. I go. But here, what you want, Come on, Daddy. It's a combo. Mama, I want to. Best friend, only only. What you want, Nani? I want. Gang. 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 Bata. Tobete. Sokolidi. Boko. Dakara do. Mm. Ah, yes, I've come back. Satoto. I am Kosa. Bidi, Bidi, I'm Mumbai. From Mumbai. Tata Rele, Tuanu. Kata Rele, Sika, Mwa. Sakala, Rero, Dijida. Hey. Beta, no? Ah. Yo, Kondi. Mumbai, no, Dawson. Wow, Pico, Dijida. Hmm. Tabata, Dawson. Hmm, 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 so, so we are. 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 My language, I uh, also would like to pray. Oh, children from Kwambi, the children, son, the moon, son. I said, stay for burden, son. You bring your share with him. Hey, maybe we are best to know because you for him, him will be that don't go for. But the hassle, the prayer will pray. They are strong. The hair will wait. Oh, man. Oh, no, I'm hungry. Oh, no, I'm going to sit here. The what's the beer, the yet to be a wild one. So if you come and that. I must be commanded that. Tell me, I do crow. I mean, my bow. I wash your hand. The Rebu Mubia and Mazaroko. The Mabatibia and Mazaroko.
Mando, Mando, no, Mando, I give it to Mando, Mando, no, Mando, Mando, O Majo, O Sakale, O Kalawa, O Nawai, O Mando, Mando, no, Mando, Mando, I feel coming down, Mando, Mando, O Colomaji, O Colomaji, Miss Uncle Mamma, O Colomaji, O Colomaji, Miss Uncle Mamma, Miss Uncle Mamma, O Mando, 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 Aja busunga o, na na busunga. Teto ma teto ma tate. Aja busunga o, na na busunga. Teto ma teto ma tate. The Basha just told us that he has all the time for us because we took the time to come here to collect some herbs and they will make a bath. Aja busunga o, na na busunga. Teto ma teto ma tate. Parce que c'est dans la montagne. Parce que c'est dans la montagne. Ik ben blij dat Corso dit meemaakt. Kapitein? Ik ben blij met deze reis. Het is een begin. Het is een soort initiatie, weet je wel. Een soort welkom to our midst and uh, for the spirits of the ancestors just to guard you and uh, to protect you in our situation. The mensen in het binnenland. Ik denk, en dat de jaren dat ik zo'n paar verhalen hoor, de mensen dus toch wel op ons neerzien als Creolen, omdat wij dus de slavernij gekend hebben. Wij waren de slaven van de, van de blanken, de bakra slaven, worden wij de genoemd. Of worden wij nog steeds genoemd. Maar deze mensen zijn dus, hebben de slavernij, die hebben ze dus ontvlucht en zijn hun eigen bestaan begonnen. En hebben steeds die trots van, we hebben ons niet laten knechten. For the fact that they are staying together as just one group of persons, no adulteration from anywhere, they have been able to maintain it. And if you go back to Ghana, with the proliferation of the churches today, so most of the traditions are going off. And uh, if we, we don't take time, the next 50 years, we wouldn't see some of these things back in Ghana. Because churches are taking over all of these uh, uh, traditional practices and beliefs. <laughs> Opa mi canta mi vida la pendici Sale orimi 